everybody Ann here just sitting out in front of the chicken yard this morning having my coffee with all of you and today I'm gonna do something a little bit different it's called don't click that she clicked that here's the article that I regrettably clicked on it is about Kellyanne Conway's daughter Claudia Conway and Kellyanne Conway used to be on the Trump team and was his basically spokesperson I guess and so Kellyanne's 15 year old daughter gets on TikTok and just, you know, jabbers away. She really doesn't like Trump, and so she lashes out, and she's lashing out at her mother. I don't know, guys. I really, really wish I had not clicked on this article. So let's get to reading this. After becoming an unexpected whistleblower via TikTok when her mother tested positive beep, 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 and infected the entire family, the daughter of ex-White House counselor Kellyanne Conway Claudia Conway shared several videos on TikTok saying that hurts to breathe. She says that despite having beep and exhibiting low oxygen readings, her mother claims she doesn't need to go to the hospital. Well, you're going to see why, she, you know, that that is not necessarily the case, that her readings really aren't low at all. The 15-year-old and her mother have previously gone back and forth about the things she shares online. Well, yeah, 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 kids these days, they just don't think. They don't think about how the things they post online on these various social media platforms will affect their parents and their families and perhaps even them in the future. But they just don't think. They don't think at all. The good thing is that at least she finally admitted that she lied about her mother lying. And here's a little post that shows that. Little clarification for my previous post. My mother claims that she did not lie to me. She had three tests done. First negative, second two positive. We were not in communication. I misinterpreted it. No, you lied about it. And basically, you shared it with the world. But at least you got to give her credit for writing that wrong. At least she got out there and said, well, I didn't exactly tell the whole truth about this, which most kids, they just aren't going to do. Here she is showing her pulse ox reading. I mean, I, I guess it's her, her reading. Her O2 sat is on top. It's 95%. The bottom line, 86 is her pulse. Those are two very normal, healthy readings. Anything above 90% is healthy and normal. So she's showing this to people like she's some sickly child that needs to go to the hospital. No, her mom's right. She doesn't need to go to the hospital. Apparently, later on, she showed a picture of herself with her reading at 91%. And according to Healthline, a normal reading for someone with healthy lungs is 95 to 100. But she had 91%. Well, that's not unusual either. Maybe she was holding her breath. Who knows? It won't stop beeping. My oxygen is low. Ha ha. Yeah, she seems real upset. Ha ha. Ha ha. Do I go to the hospital now? The article goes on. Various followers urge Conway to head to the hospital since her levels appeared alarmingly low for someone her age. No, her levels were normal. And this is just another example of how people on the internet just want to be outraged about something and how stupid people on the internet can be and how uninformed or ill-informed they can be. I don't know. Is there hope for society as long as social media is a thing? A recent Loyola Medicine study states that hypoxemia, or low blood oxygen levels, is a common symptom. Well, yes it is. It absolutely is. But she was not experiencing hypoxemia or low blood oxygen levels. But, you know, society has got to be, or at least society on social media, has got to have something to be outraged about. And this young lady knew it. Can someone please tell me what to do? It hurts to breathe and it keeps dropping randomly. Well, it keeps fluctuating between 95 and 96. Man, you are one healthy young lady. But here's the thing. If she is actually having trouble breathing and it's hurting to breathe, well, maybe she does need to go to the hospital so that the doctors can tell her to calm down. You're fine. You're going to be okay. Or treat her symptoms accordingly. You just can't be too safe when it comes to this sort of thing. Both videos have now been viewed over one million times on the platform. Several medical professionals offered Conway advice in the comments saying she should closely monitor her levels until they reach below 90. Well, I agree with that. That's good advice. But nope, she has to stir up hysteria and get those millions of views because that's the way that things go. Kids don't think about the things that they say, how they can affect themselves, or how they can affect their families. 
currently or in the future. In another article, Claudia states, my mother's job ruined my life to begin with and heartbreaking that she continues to go down that path after years of watching her children suffer. Claudia, I want you to explain to all of us how you've suffered. I didn't read all of your posts, but many of them kind of show that you've kind of led a privileged life. So get over it, girlfriend. And taking to social media in order to try and ruin your mother's career is not going to fix things. Claudia Conway has been an outspoken critic of the Trump administration and her mom's position. Last month, she announced she was officially pushing for emancipation. Well, you know what? I think she should do it. I think she should emancipate herself from the lap of luxury. And if she's going to be out there bad-mouthing her mother and her family, she should not expect to receive any monetary help in return. Well, yeah, go for a girl. Emancipate yourself. I dare you. Yeah, I really do wish I had not clicked on that link, but you know what? I may do this every once in a while. Share with you my thoughts on a stupid link that I clicked on that ah, nobody needs to read, seriously. So I'll read it for you. Anyway, I think the takeaway that I want everybody to go away from this video with is that you have to have a little bit more respect for your parents and your family when you're on social media and you're out there blabbing things about your family. You may regret it later, you may not, I don't know. But it's wrong and it hurts people. And it can hurt their careers, it can hurt them emotionally, and it's just, it's just wrong. So kids, please, think about what you're doing out there on social media, think about what you're saying. You don't want it to come back and haunt you later. You know, if Kellyanne Conway decides to, yeah, emancipate yourself but since you're being so horrible to me you know you're on your own think about the repercussions of that you know who's going to take care of her she's 15 years old who will guide her who will embrace her in times of need well I don't know I mean a mother always loves her child um, so does a father but when children are out there putting things out there on the internet uh, you know talking about things they are either lying about or have no business talking about it hurts the family as a whole and it may come back to her someday these things that she's done and that she said and you know she may have to come back someday later on down the road when she has her own kids and experiences that same kind of vitriol you know, launched at her that she launched at her mother online and she may have to come back and say, you know what, Mom, you were right. I'm sorry. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.